We eat a lot of food on Chronicle. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, sweet, savory. But how will we cook and think about food decades from now? Tonight, we aren't just planning our next meal, but looking ahead to the future of food. We are a food conscious culture like never before. I think that development in food technology is gonna truly revolutionize everyone's lives. So when I look forward 10 years in the future, I see a lot of tools that are enabling people to have healthy, wholesome meals. When it comes to predicting food trends, one family isn't far off. We may not fly in cars like George Jetson, but when it comes to food, we are marching into Jane Jetson's kitchen. We call it sous vide. Pour the natural and raw ingredients in, a gourmet dinner comes out. Sous vide, according to creators, cooks in the sous vide method, heating vacuum sealed meat in a water bath. To the perfect serving temperature. Pastas and grains are boiled and steamed. Vegetables are cooked flawlessly using steam and then roasting. A very common comparison is to a robot named Rosie from a very famous cartoon show. We don't have the time to cook dinner, but we want to provide healthy, wholesome meals to our loved ones. We really centered on this idea of cool to cook, enabled by your phone, so that the kitchen robot could start cooking while you're at work. Suvi isn't the only robot in the kitchen. This is the Samsung Bot Care 5. This robot pours wine. It's designed to be like a personal assistant that can learn your schedule and habits and even send you reminders to help keep you on task. And the Samsung Bot Handy 6 can clean your house and even pour you wine. And this robot delivers food. Domino's is testing out a new self-driving pizza delivery service. The pizza chain says customers will be able to choose to have their pizza delivered by its R2 robot. The Neuro R2 is a completely autonomous on-road delivery vehicle. That means no delivery driver to greet you at the door with your order. Or have to give a tip to. And at the Greater Boston Food Bank, there's activity all day long as food goes in and out feeding families across Massachusetts. But to keep these humans working late, the facility is getting a robot equipped with UVC lights. The ultraviolet light, uh, actually it, it breaks apart the kind of outer encasing or shell of these pathogens. It basically fries them and uh, breaks them apart and then they're no longer viable. Uh, microorganisms. Alyssa Pearson is part of the team at MIT that worked with AVA Robotics to build this new technology. The lights can kill viruses and bacteria on surfaces and aerosols, and the robot can cover the warehouse's staging area, about 4,000 square feet, in 30 minutes. We're choosing to focus on the staging area because this is where the pallets are prepped and ready to distribute out to the community the next day. So we feel like Covering these pallets is the most effective way to mitigate the risk for broader community exposure. Robots helping us clean up, drink up, and eat up. And as for Sue V, the company is based in Cambridge. Robin Liss, the co-founder you heard from, tells us they recently launched the Generation 2 Sue V earlier this year. Sue V 2.0 comes with more than 15 cooking methods, including steam, bake, broil, sous vide, and slow cook. Sous vide prices start at $400. Next, maple syrup dates back to the Native Americans. Going forward, it could heal what ails us.